everyone, Mr. Merkage here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a contact exporter, which will basically pull all the contacts from your account into a text file. Um, and you might ask why this is useful, and the simple answer is let's say you move Skype, you got a new Skype, but you didn't want to lose all your contacts. So you could export them all and then use the list, either add them one by one or create a mass friend adder, so you could import the list again and add them all on your new Skype. Uh, obviously I haven't showed you how to make the mass friend adder but it's pretty simple to make and potentially I will show you in the future um, so getting started with this it is fairly simple and short uh, all we need is a but one button for this so I'll just create that and let's just call this export contacts now inside here what we want to do is create the file name where we want it to be uh, created so dim Let's call it file name as a string, and that'll be equal to desktop path, which we created uh, before. And then we need to actually give it a name, and we need to use a backslash to let know we're in this directory, not the folder. Uh, and we can call this contacts.txt. Uh, and underneath here, what we want to do is actually create the file. Um, to do this, we can create a new stream writer. So we can say dim we we'll call it w for writer as an io dot stream writer like that and then we want to obviously create the file so we need to say w is equal to io dot file dot create and we want to create a text because we're creating a text file and then we need to give it like the name so we can just call this file name because that is our file so that now what that's going to do is when the button's clicked, it's going to create a file for us. We only want to do that one time. Now we want to use a for each statement, so obviously we want to get each contact in our list. And we wouldn't want to create the file for each contact. Uh, we only want to create the file once, so we keep that outside of our for each statement. So we want to say for each user as skype for com lib dot user in skype dot friends and then obviously we want to inside here for each user we want to write to our file so for each user we're going to write a new line so we can do this by saying w which is our file dot write line and what we want to write to the line is the user's name so user dot handle and then that is literally it and after it's finished we want to close the connection so we can say w dot close and that will close the file so that is pretty much all there is to it. Uh, again, I will just explain. We're just creating a file here using our file name, which is on the desktop. And then we're just saying for each user in our friends, we're going to write a line to the file. So let's say you have 100 contacts. This is going to write 100 lines to the file. So I'll launch this up and give you an example. Wait for this to load up. Uh, let's press export contacts it's literally instant we've pressed that and it should already be made so we've got a file here called contacts if we open this you're going to see that it's got a whole list of all of my contacts like that so obviously I don't know how that would be like nearly 2000 or something but that was instant and um, there's also more you can do to this like you could add line numbers or something but if you're wanting to import this list and use it for a mass contact adder it's perfectly fine like this because we're going to read the file line by line uh, to get each user to add a game um, so yeah like I said if you do like the video um, I'll possibly make the mass contact adder uh, and that's pretty much it I'm sorry it's a short video but it's not really a tough job to create one of these so Thank you for watching, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.